Yo, what's up everyone? Uh, Muzi Beats here, and I thought that today we could make a Juice WRLD type beat in the style of Nick Mirror. Uh, please stay until the end, and I'm going to show you some FL Studio tricks that you probably didn't even know about. And also, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, I'm on my way to 50 subscribers, and your subscription could, like, you know, help me out. It's free. Come on. Let's not waste too much time, and let's just get right into it, yeah? So, um, I found this loop off of Loop Man right here. So, what I'm going to do is, when you open FL Studio, and you drag in your loop, it's automatic set to pattern. So, if you click onto song, it drags. Uh, uh, lets you see, uh, lets you play things from the playlist, yeah? So I'm just gonna press play using the space bar for us to play the loop. Uh, so now I'm gonna press play. So it's an, uh, it's like an eerie electric guitar. Um, I don't know, like it just sounds hella sad and it sounds like something like Juice World or Ian Dior and it sounds like something like Nick Mirror would be, you would use to make them a B2. So what I'm gonna do is, first of all, as you can see here, um, it's not to the eighth bar because when we're working in double time specifically, we wanna get everything to the eighth bar or the sixteenth bar. If it's a short like loop or sample, fourth bar could work, but then usually the goal is to get to the eighth bar. So we're gonna go onto the tempo. I'm gonna left click and just drag up until we get to the eighth bar. So that means the BPM of the song is 145. And from here, um, we're gonna click this uh, patterns button right here, and then we're gonna drag pattern one, and this will allow us to be able to add sounds and whatnot and hear them while the while the um, while the loop is playing at the same time. So um, first things first, we're just gonna add a clap. We're just gonna click on the channel rack button right there and then we're gonna drag this clap MIDI right here and then we're gonna drag it here. And what this does is that it automatically sets the clap and whatnot, uh, direct place it needs to be. If you want this, uh, just DM me on Instagram and I'm, I'm gonna send it to you actually. So I'm gonna use this boom snare right here and then I'm gonna grab a hi-hat and then I'm just gonna drag this hi-hat onto the channel rack too. I'm gonna right click, fill each two steps, and I'm gonna go into the piano roll by clicking this button right here. I'm gonna press options R, or Alt R if you're using, P uh, thing, if you're using PC. And then I'm gonna go to this uh, snap to grid tool right here. I'll click on it and choose none. And then I'm gonna just gonna press shift right click. And what this does is by automating it, if we leave everything as it is, yeah, it's gonna sound robotic and it's gonna be hidden at the same time, uh, at the same time and whatnot. And to make it more realistic, we can automate the velocity and then we can offset Set it off the grid by just by a little bit just so that it sounds like someone is actually like you know playing the high hat so um this is what it sounds like now Off the get go, I can tell I just need to reduce the volume of the thing of the hats just by a little bit, and then um, I'm gonna get an open hat. This open hat right here, uh, this murder open hat. I'm gonna double click on the open hat actually, and then I'm just gonna mess with the with, with the settings a little bit. Um, I think it's got too long of a tail, or the tail is it's not long, it's not a long tail. I mean, like um, the width of the tail. If you can see from the thing right here, yeah, the width of the tail is it's just kind of weird for me, yeah. So I'm just gonna uh, go to the out knob and just bring it in a little bit yeah I like that better so um, it's just gonna be on the one here it's gonna it's gonna hit on the one and then we're gonna go into the piano roll and then we're just gonna put it at five after the fifth stamp right here so that it's always just hitting on the one let's take it off none two go back to the snipe to grid two we'll put it at the third of a step yeah let's see what the sounds like Now what I'm gonna do next is uh, we're just gonna add some perks. So I'm gonna get this basic perk right here, which is like a rim shot. And then um, we're gonna go back into the piano roll. Actually, we don't even, even need to go back to the piano roll. We just go to the channel rack and I know where I'm gonna place it. I think I'm gonna place it somewhere like over here. So uh, I'm gonna place these two right there and then I'm gonna go into the piano roll and we're just gonna edit them because if it's just hidden, ta -ta, it's, it's gonna sound boring and whatnot, yeah? So we're gonna uh, go after the two right here and then we're gonna right click to highlight uh, on this three thing right here, uh, on this third bar right here. We're gonna right click to highlight and then just make sure that everything here is highlighted properly onto the three. And then we're gonna press Command B or Control B if you're using PC to shift it over the other side. And what we're actually gonna do is we're just gonna zoom out and we're gonna edit everything a little bit. So we're gonna delete this, this node right here. And then we're gonna go back to the three right here. Then we're just gonna highlight everything. Command B or Control B to shift it over. And now we have our we have our perk hidden where we want it to hit. Now I want to add another perk. So I want to add another perk to hit. Um, just to add just to add a little bit more bounce to the beat. 
yeah. do perfectly. So I think it's gonna be better if it just hits somewhere like over there. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna highlight it and then just press Command B or Control B if you're using PC just to shift it over. So now this is what all the perks sound like together. Now basically the beats the beats done all that's left now is the um is the kick and the 808 and that's what we're gonna add now so we're gonna grab uh is the 808 something that's short and punchy so that it uh you know goes above the mix so we're gonna grab this 808 right here uh and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna double click on the 808 go into the uh envelope right here we're gonna decrease everything to zero except for the hold and what this does is that when we press an 808 node and let go yeah um the tail stops to stops and whatnot and this um stops the notes from like bleeding over and then we're gonna go into the wrench tool right here and we're gonna click cut it off so that the notes uh so that the notes cut it off and they bleed over less um i don't know if you get what i mean i don't know if i'm explaining it properly but that's that's what i understand from it um on the channel rack here um you can see that all our drum sounds are here except the loop yeah so we're gonna go to unsorted and then we're gonna click all and then from here we, we can see our loop and whatnot yeah so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna double click on everything and then we're gonna uh we're gonna double click on everything and make sure that all these green boxes are highlighted yeah and to do this all you have to do is just click on one make sure there's a green box double click now all the green boxes are highlighted we're gonna go into the mixer by clicking this button right here we're gonna go to insert one we're gonna press command shift l if you're using pc control shift l and what this does is that it lays everything out and um into into the mix and whatnot yeah to get to the mix it's this button right here in case in case i didn't explain but i feel like i showed you guys so if we press play So as you can see that everything's been routed to the mixer and whatnot. And why we're doing this is because personally I'm not good at music theory, yeah. So I have troubles placing the 808 or finding the right key to the 808. I'm working on it, I'm trying to train my ear, but then um I use wave candy to do this. So I'm gonna go to the last slot. I'm gonna click on where the loop is. I'm gonna go to the last slot. I'm gonna choose select and then uh, I'm gonna open up wave candy which should be on the visual so we'll open that up I'm gonna drag this box here into the top left corner I'm gonna choose spectrum I'm gonna choose maximum bands increase the scale decrease the DB range so we're getting lower notes and then from here I'm just gonna press play okay so from what we can hear yeah there are four bass notes. I, I can already tell the four bass. Anyways, I can already tell that the four bass notes to begin with. So we're gonna uh, click on the sampler right here. Uh, this this here, here after piano roll, you can see the sampler. We we'll just click on that button there, and then we'll go to eight eight. And now we can see that, as I said, we can see that there are four notes. Yeah. So it's um. So I'm assuming that the length of the bass note is from uh, this length of uh, this bar right here. Yeah. Let's just make sure I'm right. So I am right. So basically, uh, we'll start with D. Now, since we're using an 808 and we want to punch over everything else, we'll just increase the velocity. Uh, so we'll start with D, put put a note right there, put a note right there. And since it goes down to C, we'll put a note right here on C. Put a note right there. I'll skip through this just because I feel like it's going to take too much time. Uh, we're going to delete this wave candy box right here. And this is what the 808 sounds like right now. that's left is for us to add a kick and we're gonna add this kick right here and then we're gonna copy and paste it by uh, pressing command c and then command v and we're, we're copying and pasting our notes so we're gonna shift everything down to c by highlighting and then pressing shift down to, to get everything down to c now since it's all just the same notes playing over and over again on this side um we're just gonna delete everything by pressing delete or f and delete if you have a mac and then we'll press control b or command b um depending on what you use to shift everything over to the other side yeah so this was on yeah so that's the beat for today um i hope you found everything useful uh someone was actually telling me the other day that they feel that i don't explain everything enough so in this video I try to be as detailed as possible with everything I'm doing. Um, so please don't forget to like and subscribe. On my way to 50 subscribers. So if you could help me out, 
I truly appreciate it. Um, come on, it is free though. So uh, yeah, thank you very much. That was awkward.